Hey guys, this is Ender Quartz here, back with a new tutorial, and this time I'm going to be covering something pretty cool, so let's just check it out. So first, I have this guy, I call him the Ender Protector, and I mean, this is a version of something that other people have done before, and I've seen it a little bit differently, but this is just my version of it, so let's try it out. So what this guy is going to do is, wait, let's get some creeper, creepers, so I'll place some creepers down. And now they're going to be there. They're going to be their little creeper selves. And now I'm going to press this button. And his arm is going to come up. It's going to shoot fireballs. Creepers. And then they're all going to die. Well, except for this guy. Which is almost dead. Let's see if I, just, if I just punch him. Or again. Or maybe. Super punch. Die. Die, die, go. Now he's dead. Um, so, if y'all saw that there, I'm just going to try it again. If, if everyone saw that there... But some people probably might have not, so I'm just going to try this again. Okay, so press this button, and then I'll see. He puts his arm up, shoots two fireballs, and then puts his arm down. And then, so this is a version of something I like to call CA, or cloning animation. And it's using blocks to create animated figures, or maybe spaceships, or something, I don't know. You can really use it for anything. And that's what's really cool, because it's open to so many different things. Let me just get rid of that. Um, so, I'm going to show you how this works. So basically what this does is this command block just sets this block over here to a redstone block. Wait, let me just set the time. And it sets this block over here, way over here, to a redstone block. And uh, so that's going to act, try, trigger this one, which is going to set that block to air. So it's just going to have a really fast clock. And now, so, this one basically clones this guy exactly where that guy is and now so what all these do is basically it's the exact same command and oh I figured it out before where instead I was trying to do a pick block command where I was trying to get the command apparently you have to do control pick and then that gets the thing with the MBT and then you get the command inside it so that's cool it's control pick block not just regular pick block so cool um, that's what I use to place all these guys down and now, so you have, this is the exact same command, except I'm using relative coordinates, and then I'm using exact coordinates over there. And now, so what this does is this guy, I make a little bit change, a little bit of changes each, a little bit of changes each time. So now his arm is kind of going up, now it's a little bit up, and then it's fully up with a dispenser on top, well, at the end of his arm. And then it changes to the dispenser. And then I have something which summons, basically summons a fireball that is just going in that direction so that's pretty cool and then, and then he just goes and he puts his arm down and then, so that's pretty cool and so it just it works like that and something I've also discovered and I've seen a lot in a lot of videos I mean I didn't discover it it's it was implemented by Mahjong and a lot of people see videos about it but it's actually pretty cool basically what it is is that if you have a command block the new command block with an NBT tag so what I can have is I can set, I can get this, control, wait, no, control, pick one, there you go. And now, so if I have this with the plus NBT, so this has the set, the red redstone. So now if I have this, and then I get that, those command blocks, and then I get one of these, and then I place it on the dispenser. Now it's going to place the command block, activate it, which is going to go through the entire sequence. So watch this, so it's going to place it. And then it's going to have the guy, and then he's going to shoot the fireball, and he's going to put his arm down again. That's pretty cool. And one of the cool things about it is that you can have this so that it randomly generates, like, a number 1 through 9 or something. Or you can have 8, or you can have 9 different pathways of him doing, of, like, a boss or something. Like, you can have, a, like, a boss like this where he uses over here, and you need to have certain things to destroy the boss. And you can have a clock that runs after a while, and it sets uh, that again and just randomly does it over, like, the out of the nine. And then, so, that's pretty cool. And so, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, you're just cloning it each time in the exact same place. And you can't have it clone over the same self, but you just change it each little time, and then you go over there, and then you can have, like, effects and stuff. You can have particles or maybe a um, fireball, which is what I did over there. And then, so I could have different tracks. That's pretty, that's all, that's what's also cool about this, is that I can have different tracks about this. So then I can have another button that sets maybe a block over here to a redstone block, which sets the whole, which triggers the whole, which triggers the whole 
animation and things. And you could have as many of these as you wanted. And then so you could have this guy do so many different things. Just And it looks like he, he's doing it, but it's really just cloning this over and over and over again. And that's kind of what I like about this. Again, you can just, you can do anything with this. You can have it to be a super giant guy. You can have a blob going over here. I mean, it doesn't have to be a mech. I mean, it doesn't have to be a robot. It can be a like a mech that somebody's actually standing in. Or it could be maybe just a sludge thing that goes across the floor that's made out of, I don't know, something that if you touch you die or something. I don't know. I mean, you can really do anything with this. That's that's what I think is pretty cool about it. So, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you guys can build off of this or do a couple of other things. And I've seen some autonomous ones, which I think are pretty cool. And now, so, there's other ones that do other things. And, like, there's, like, I don't really know. I've never seen anybody, anybody else do things. But I bet you guys, the community out there, will probably come out with some really cool ideas. And so... I'm looking forward to that.